Tax season is here. The IRS began processing returns on Monday, and now scam artists, well, they're ramping up their, ramping up their attempts to try and take your money. Besides Andy Cohen watching out for your money tonight, he is in studio. These guys just never stop, Andy. No, they don't, because they, the scam artists keep tweaking the same con. They'll call you up claiming that you owe the IRS money or that someone you know was arrested. They've even started claiming that you owe a student tax, not a student loan. It's all designed to scare you into giving them money. It's that time of year. You will be taken under custody by the local cops. Scammers posing as the IRS or local law enforcement are calling people trying to scare you or trick you into giving them money. They are persistent. Uh, number one, because it's working, and two, it can be very, very lucrative. Don't fall for it. She says no one legitimate will ever call demanding that you buy a prepaid visa card or money order. Even if they only get a couple of victims that fall prey to this, when you're talking thousands of dollars per victim, why would they stop? Her advice? When you get a call like this, take a deep breath, write down the number, and report it. Some of these calls do come from criminal outfits overseas, but not all of them. A lot of them are here locally. Again, um, very, 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 very challenging to track, um, but that doesn't mean we're not, and we're not doing something about that when we are made aware of it. Because the cops, the real ones, don't know it's happening unless you report it. We would request you to get back to us so that we can discuss about this case. And as for those calls, just hang up. Another concern this time of year, fraudulent tax returns. The IRS stopped almost 800,000 false tax returns in 2016, protecting billions of dollars in people's tax returns. That crime happens often without the victims knowing about it. So the best way you can protect yourself there is to file those returns early and get an identity protection pin from the IRS. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.